everybody, this is Chi from myuni.ph and today I'm going to show you how to use this fancy thing we have here called a decanter. First of all, let me just answer this question. What exactly is decanting? Decanting is pouring your wine from its original bottle, like this one, into another vessel, like a decanter, letting it sit there and allowing it to enjoy some time in the decanter before we drink it. Typically, you use a decanter like this, which comes in many shapes and sizes. But if you don't have one at home, don't sweat it. You can use a regular pitcher or a carafe or sometimes even just a wine glass. Next question that I want to answer with regards to decanting your wine is, when do I actually decant my wine? Why should I decant it and what does it do to my wine? One of the first reasons is you want your wine to interact with oxygen. When wine is aerated, flavors and aromas are enhanced, harsh tannins are actually softened, and flavors and aromas that have been muted or have remained dormant because your wine has been in the bottle for years will actually be brought out. Of course, the other reason is sometimes when wine is old, the cork becomes crumbly and some of it can float in your wine. And sometimes there are also sediments that settle in your wine bottle and you do not want that. So decanting actually allows you to separate the bits that you do not like to drink from the wine that you like to drink. How do you decant? First, open your bottle, okay? If it is an old bottle, I suggest that you allow it to stand vertically for at least 24 hours because with older bottles, there will be sediments and you don't want that sediment floating. You want it to settle at the base of the bottle. When you are decanting an older bottle of red wine, you do not need to lift the bottle so high because if you do that, the tendency is all of the sediments will very, very quickly go to the neck of the bottle. Now, if you are decanting a wine that is young, such as this one, this is a 2017 Shiraz, you can actually just decant it into your decanter as quickly as you want like this because you're actually not preventing any sediments from settling into the neck, floating or flowing into your decanter. I have actually decanted the entire uh, bottle of wine into this um, beautiful decanter. The next stage is optional, but you can actually swirl it. See, that's the beauty of swirling in a decanter because there are no chances of spillage because it is actually, if you notice, the base is very wide, but of course, as it goes up, it funnels to the tip. So definitely no accidental spilling of the wine. And the third, which is the more nuanced part of decanting is time. I've been asked, how long should I decant? If it is an old wine, or if it is a wine that is made from a very delicate grape variety, for example, a Pinot Noir, I think 15 to 30 minutes in the decanter is enough. But if you are decanting a wine that is made from a very structured tannic wine, like Cabernet Sauvignon, or Shiraz, or um, even some Merlots, and if it is still very, very young, there is no harm in allowing it to sit in the decanter from anywhere between 30 minutes to three hours. And actually, contrary to popular belief, uh, it is also possible to decant white wines and rosés, especially if there is a hint of volatile acidity. By the way, volatile acidity, like the smell of rotten egg or burnt rubber, you can actually get rid of those smells by allowing the wine to stay in the decanter for a period of time. So decanting will actually spell the difference between a wine that is not great into a wine that is highly enjoyable. If there is one wine that probably will not benefit from decanting, it's sparkling wine. Because you want the sparkling wine to be bubbly, right? When you decant sparkling wine, the bubbles dissipate and your sparkling wine falls flat. And nobody really likes that. So if you want to decant, go ahead and do so. You can use a decanter like this one or a carafe or a pitcher. But seriously guys, if you do not have a decanter at home, you can just pour your wine in a glass, let it sit, don't be too excited, give it time between 15 to 30 minutes. So I hope you guys learned something new from me today. If you like this video, then please do not forget to click like and subscribe so that you will get notified when we have more videos like this. Until the next drink, cheers.